Welcome to Will Radio. This is my first Will Radio in quite a while. In fact, it's my first video with sound in quite a while. All my recent videos have been me working on writing, really pre-writing. I'm going to make another video uh, right after this one about writing and how that's going, what my plans are for it. But I thought I would just kind of give a general update because I just haven't had had a chance to make uh, a video with sound for a while. It's um, still challenging for me right now to make videos with sound. I think next week I'm going to be able to make uh, probably quite a few videos and hopefully I can make some R6RS videos, for example. I don't know if I'll make one today. I, I suppose it's possible, but probably not. Um, but, you know, that's just kind of the, the situation I'm in right now, my work environment. And I think I've talked about this before. I have looked at, at things like uh, sound booths and, you know, various technological fixes to try to get good sound isolation and soundproofing so that I can make videos whenever I want um, without being interrupted or interrupting other people. Uh, right now, it's just it's hard. But these constraints are often useful. Constraints are often useful for creativity. And the fact that I have sort of been forced or, or allowed myself to be forced, uh, depending how you think about it, to focus on writing and silent writing videos, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I actually like those. Um, allows me to really concentrate on the writing, not to wor worry too much about explaining everything. <clears throat> now, so far I haven't really written. I've been pre-writing. Um, I'll talk about that in a, another video. But anyway, that's kind of the situation. I still uh, don't foresee for the near future being able to make huge numbers of uh, videos with sound other than next week. But we'll see i may uh, there may be some possibilities for me to get sort of an alternative um, working environment where i could make some more videos it's all trade-offs <clears throat> so anyway I'm, I'm quite happy right now writing because that's really what i want to do uh, but i do know that people like like the r6 rs videos and i like making those as well so that's fun oh you know work in progress we'll figure it out over time I've been very busy, um, I'd say mostly in a good way, almost an exclusively in a good way. Meeting lots of people, having lots of really interesting conversations, catching up with friends, uh, lots of things with family. So that's all good. You know, I like being busy in that sense. I've been very inspired recently. I've seen lots of interesting ideas and papers and talks that make me want to hack on Mini Canron, for example, or learn certain things about machine learning or whatever it is. <clears throat> so that's great. Um, it also feels like the Mini Canron and relational programming stuff is, is regaining momentum. So it, I felt like before COVID, at least I felt like I was on a sort of upward swing where I was getting a lot of momentum and it felt like mini Canron or relational programming was getting momentum and more people were getting into it and, and so forth. And then in COVID, I don't know. I felt like I personally lost a lot of momentum during COVID. I think that was just in general, you know, there was like a, a few years, but probably more like four years where really things didn't stop, but they slowed down a lot. I felt like I lost much of my momentum and now I feel like starting to regain it and people are, are starting to contact me again about mini Canron related things. And, um, you know, students are interested and, and also because there's been so much progress in things like LLMs and machine learning neural nets, it's very interesting to try to th think of how you combine so the good old fashioned symbolic AI 
where you have rules and you can do formal reasoning and proofs of correctness and chains of reasoning and evidence and provenance, combining that with things like neural nets or LLMs or other types of machine learning. You know, I think that's very stimulating and hopefully we can figure out how to get the best of both worlds. Um, I, I right now am bullish on relational programming. I see a bunch of interesting possibilities right now, and it seems like with the current trajectory and the the gains in momentum and also the interesting things going on with machine learning and, and programming languages, research, and symbolic AI, I feel like you know the next five years are going to be very interesting. I think there's a going to make a lot of progress if we keep at the current trajectory and then you know these things always take time so five years is maybe a little short but you know 10 years from now i'm hoping we'll see really um, almost incredible advances in the capabilities of these relational systems we'll see i mean I'm, i am inherently an optimist about these things uh, but some of the things I'm seeing in automated theorem proving and tying symbolic systems to LLMs and so forth, it makes me think that, you know, five years from now, we'll be able to do that way, way, way better than we can today. And if you look at progress on things like Go playing or protein folding, uh, I think those sorts of techniques are going to be applicable to relational programming. And like I said, I've been concentrating on writing or more likely concentrating on pre-writing. Um, and I think that's a good thing. That's something I really, really care about. I didn't write the last two days, but I was thinking about it. Um, last two days were super busy and I was very, very tired. And I thought, eh, I'd rather just not try. I'd rather just take those two days off and just think about it some. But today I'm planning to do some writing. And I'm going to record some videos, I hope. Um, and then I'm going to record right after this a video about writing and a, about how, how the writing's going and all that. So there we go. A short update. I've been busy. Things are going well. I'm very bullish about relational programming. There are all sorts of things that I've seen recently that I want to share somehow. And that might go into a book, for example. Um, yeah. So good, good times. Um, still having trouble with uh, making videos of sound that's just tricky right now you know it's uh i guess uh, the i used to live in charleston south carolina downtown in a little apartment on a main street and it was so loud at night because of traffic and things like that that i didn't sleep in my bedroom i slept on my couch in the living room for example stuff like that and when I lived in Birmingham, Alabama, I lived on a main street and it was so loud that once I tried recording a five minute video and it took me like 200 takes or something like that. And I had to chop it down into, you know, like 10 second fragments because I couldn't record more than 10 or 15 seconds without a motorcycle gang, literally a motorcycle gang driving by, revving up their engines or a helicopter with a life flight flying in or police cars or fire engines or people drag racing, you know, anything you can imagine, leaf blowers. Literally I had 10 to 15 seconds that I could record before the audio was a problem. That's one reason I got this microphone. So I'm not exactly in that situation, but I'm in another situation that's kind of like that where it's just really frustrating to try to record videos with sound because I know every time I start, there's a very good chance I'm going to be interrupted. Um, and I, I just find that disheartening. So anyway, these uh, videos with writing, they're silent. I don't know if they're interesting to watch or not. I guess in some sense, they're kind of interesting because you can see the, the process and you see kind of what I'm, I'm doing. So maybe that's interesting. Um, but, you know, the main thing for me is I'm making progress on my writing, which I care about. And, you know, hopefully over time, I'll get some sort of uh, setup where I can make uh, more videos with sound, but I'm enjoying myself right now. So uh, we'll just see where it goes. All right. Hope you all are doing well. Um, 
hope to see you on the Discord server if you're there. And Discord server is a little sleepy. You know, every once in a while someone will say something, but I don't know. I have thought about having some sort of event, you know, with the Discord server. Um, I don't know, maybe just like a, a chat session or, you know, get people talking. I don't know. I don't know it would be fun. Um, I could probably do a little bit of that. Once again, like I said, it's a, it's a little tricky for me to be able to predict when I can do extended sessions where noise isn't an issue, but I think I could do at least, um, you know, once a month or once every other month, do something that'd be fun. So if you have any ideas, you know, just let me know. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.